came into the service tonight, a scripture. There's been a few scriptures going through my spirit from this afternoon going into tonight's meeting. And I want to start by making this declaration over you tonight. Uh, how, first of all, how many believe there's power in God's word? Amen. Yeah. When we decree and declare God's word, things are shifted in the realm of the spirit. And there's this scripture. I, I believe part of the theme for, for this house this year is overflow. Right? How many are ready for some supernatural overflow? How many are ready for, for so much overflow you won't be able to contain what God pours into your life this year? It's totally scriptural. Ephesians 4. I start with this tonight. Ephesians 4. Actually, I want to go to Ephesians. Let's see. Ephesians. Where do I want to read here? Let's read Ephesians Oh, praise the Lord when you turn your page and you lose your scripture. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. Here it is. Ephesians 3. I love this. Ephesians 3 verse 19. That you may really come to know. And this is my prayer for each one of us tonight. Practically through experience for yourselves the love of Christ, which far surpasses mere knowledge without experience. That you may be filled through your whole being. Unto all the fullness of God, that you may have the richest measure of the divine presence and become a body wholly filled and flooded with God himself. Now to him who by in consequence of the action of his power that has work, is at work within us, he is able to do super abundantly far above all that we dare ask or think. What we even dare to ask God or what we even think in our minds, God is able to do super abundantly above it. So I declare over you tonight that you are going to be wholly flooded, every single part of you flooded with God's presence, flooded with God's glory, flooded with God's power, and that even the things that come into your mind that you think God is even going to do above and beyond that. And I believe God is going to break us free from small thinking tonight. God's going to break small thinking off of us. You know, and he is, he's challenging us. He's saying, think bigger, dream bigger. Put your faith out there even in a bigger way. Because I want to do super abundantly even the biggest thing that you could think of. I want to do even above that. And you know. I've heard different things said about New Year's resolutions. It's a new year and all that stuff. And pe some people are against it. You know, I, I personally, I personally am, have a positive feeling towards a new year, a new year step of faith or a new year resolution or a new year decision that we would make in our hearts. And I'm going to tell you why. Because there's scientific proof. That when we come into a new year, and we have just stepped into a new year, that when we come into a new year, there's something that happens in our brains, our physical brains, and our thinking process, where we step into a place where there is, where, where, where something in our mind opens up, something in our thinking, something in our heart opens up to the capacity or to the ability for something more to happen in our lives than what's happening right now. Your brain actually starts to believe that a change can happen, that something new can happen. And I believe it's God-given that God wants you to position yourself as we come into this year to open up your heart, open up your faith, open up your mind, open up your thinking and dream the biggest dream you can dream. Because you can shape your future with the dreams that you dream right now. Come on now. God wants to break off every single little thing that has been keeping your faith little, keeping your thinking little. God wants to break that off of you and he wants to expand your capacity to believe. That you can see a change in your life. That you can see the breakthrough that you've believe, been believing God for. That you can see your household saved. Come on now, that you can see your marriage transformed. That you can see your children on fire and serving Jesus. That you can see yourself financially blessed. That you can see yourself opening up a new business or stepping out and obeying God in a new venture in your life. And see the supernatural hand of God go before you. You know, I've come into this new year and I say, God, I'm getting myself in shape. 
Come on, how many have ever made a New Year's resolution that, that you're going to lose weight? Oh, praise the Lord. Or you're going to, but look, I am serious about this. I am serious about this. I have joined a six week kickboxing boot camp. Come on now, just wait till you see me next time. I've joined a six week. It starts with that six weeks. I'm learning kickboxing. I'm learning boxing. I'm learning all this sorts of stuff. And, and they, they've put me, they've taught me how to correctly eat, how to eat healthy proteins and healthy carbs and vegetables and, and get the right portions and the right foods so that my whole life will transform. And I'm ready to transform. Come on now. I'm ready to change. I'm ready to go higher. I'm ready to become the person God wants me to be. I'm ready for uh, divine health because I believe part of divine health is stewarding your body well. Because we're the temple of the Holy Spirit. So I believe that even as we step into this new year, my belief system has opened up that I can change. And guess what? Because I believe it, I'm doing it. Because I believe it, I'm stepping out and I'm taking action. You see, because faith will produce action in your life. And when you begin to believe bigger, you begin to dream bigger, your actions will begin to follow that. Change and transformation and breakthrough will start to happen in your life. And not only do you have your natural actions, but now you have the anointing. You have the power of the Holy Spirit working in you mightily on your behalf to bring you to where God wants you to be. So I believe we are in a season of great, great acceleration, great multiplication, where God is going to do over and above even what we ask him to do. I believe God is going to shock you. I said, I believe God's going to shock you. I believe Jehovah Shaka is going to shock you. Come on now, we serve Jehovah Shaka, and he loves to shock us. He loves to surprise us. He loves to do things even above what we're asking him for. He loves to go over and above even your biggest dream, your biggest prayer, your biggest heart's desire. God is bigger than your biggest heart's desire. And he's able to do super abundantly above that. So I believe we're coming into this season where God is saying, Dream big, step out, believe big, because I want to release my goodness to you. Now, I love the glory of God. How many here love the glory of God? I love his glory. His glory is everything. His presence, his life. It's the breath that we breathe. It's the life that surges through our spirit. And I know that when we come into his glory, all the limits come off. I know this. Earthly limits come off. Man's limits come off. Even your limits come off. All the limits come off when we learn how to access and receive and live in the realm of God's glory. It propels us beyond even our natural ability. It propels us beyond our natural strength. It propels us beyond ourselves. I love it when people write in and and they share testimonies with me. I got this testimony in recently. And it's such a, a, a testament to God's presence and power. So this person wrote me in and they said, I I love how this starts. I did not know who you were. Praise the Lord. That's a great way to start a testimony. I didn't know who you were. But look, I don't care if they know who I am, just as long as they know who Jesus is. I mean, that's who I want people to know. I want people to know Jesus. So I did not know who you were, but I felt like I was supposed to go hear you preach. I haven't been the same since. I felt the love of God like a flood flow from you, and you didn't even pray for me. Praise God. You stood in front of me and said, God is overshadowing you now. Since then, I'm not concerned about what people think of me. This used to consume a huge part of my life. I don't have to look over my shoulder anymore. I know I'm loved by God, and that's enough. My confidence is found in Jesus. And since then, I had another encounter with Jesus. You see, because when breakthrough starts to happen in your life, there's momentum to breakthrough. And it goes from breakthrough to breakthrough to breakthrough to breakthrough. And I believe this week is going to be momentum week. This week is going to be all about God giving you huge momentum into what he has planned for your life this year. Since then, I had another encounter with Jesus while praying in my house. I felt him right in front of me near my face, face to face. 
I didn't see him, but I felt him. And I felt his love again like a flood. And more healing and more transformation happened in me. And that was while she was home. Oh, praise God. Oh, you mean you can have God's glory in your house? Yes, you can. You mean you can have God's glory outside of church? Yes, you can. Your home can be saturated with God's glory. Your car can be saturated with God's glory. Just be careful driving. But he's with you everywhere all the time.